What a confusing free agency so far. I can't even say so far because I feel like we did everything that we're going to do. I know that we might want more things to happen, but I think I think this is it. Maybe we see one surprise move that leads to Evan Fournier getting moved, but they even said that they're not rushing that. They don't want to just get rid of him because he was a good soldier. I mean, we did things this weekend. One really stupid and one we all expected and for a really good contract. I mean, we traded Obi Toppin. We, we, we got rid of Obi Toppin to the team that's been rumored to, of, to be getting him for years. When we heard one package, we ended with damn near the bare minimum to get him. I can't believe we got robbed. <laughs> and now the question is who is going to take his role? And there's a possibility that Tom Thibodeau might be bringing RJ Barrett off the bench. I don't know what the hell is going on with my basketball team y'all i don't know let's try and figure it out together run the intro what's going on ck crew your boy ck2k welcome back to another video if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell do not forget to like this video so i know in my last video i told you guys that i was going to start my new nba 2k series on this past saturday I lied to y'all. It's coming out this Saturday. Uh, I had a few tweaks to make. First episode will come out this Saturday, along with summer league content, as your boy will be in Vegas, regardless of the little that we have to watch. So stay tuned to that. But yeah, a new video series starting on Saturday. Really looking forward to that, especially for my 2K heads out there who keep asking me for rebuild videos. Stay tuned because you have a whole series starting this this coming Saturday. Um, and that's as cheerful as you're going to get me. Uh, because on Saturday, minutes before WWE's PLE was ready to tip off, we get the, the news that Obi Toppin has officially been sent to the Indiana Pacers. Something that shouldn't really surprise, well, it shouldn't have surprised anybody. I mean, the Indiana Pacers and Obi Toppin have been connected for what feels like since his the beginning of last season. Um, so there was no surprise there that we ultimately made that deal. But a lot of people were believing that it would, it would include Chris Duarte or include a, a piece or maybe a, a, late, a late first round pick. No, we moved him for two seconds. Oh, why? 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 And the, the, the narrative is we're using those two seconds as more uh, assets for a future trade because those second rounders are going to be attractive. I mean, look, in this market, we're seeing a lot of second round picks being flipped around for stuff. So maybe there is some truth to that. But Obi Toppin is only worth two second round picks. I know right now, being a guy that only played the amount of minutes he played, didn't really do much in Tom Thibodeau's eyes um, or didn't really do much under Tom Thibodeau. I know looking at that, he would think, yes, yeah, CK, he didn't really do anything to be of more value. I disagree. Uh, we could agree, disagree on that. I think we all know that Obi Toppin is going to be valued and used way better uh, in his new role than what he had in New York. I feel like he's going to have a career season this year, which is not hard to do. I get that. We got swindled. Uh, two second round picks for uh, a top eight pick in a draft three years ago. The other funny thing here too is the two guys that the New York Knicks were rumored to be so excited about, uh, we have none of them now in Tyrese Halliburton and Obi Toppin. They're both now on the same team. It's just, this is a very old school Knicks type of situation. And mind you, I love Obi Toppin. I'm a fan. I'm, I'm rooted for what he does in Indiana. It sucks he's on the Indiana Pacers, but I, w I was fine with us having to move on from Obi Toppin. I, I, I knew that the writing was on the wall. We were going to stick to Julius Randle uh, and Obi Toppin was just unfortunately going to get the short end of the stick. I knew that that was the case. So I'm not upset that we traded him. I'm I, I just I can't find a, a, a world where this move made sense for us. I get we have assets for a future trade, but we just got two seconds. That's crazy. It is what it is. Now, Obi Toppin is a part of the Indiana Pacers. That uh, IG story he dropped congratulating Tyrese Halliburton hits way different now. Tyrese Halliburton 
minutes after the trade was made he tweeted about the trade the pacers are going to be a nice team i think they're going to be an overachieving team next year barring health shout out to obi toppin i i truly will forever believe you did not get an actual shot on this team i don't believe you were developed properly on this team and for that it did it does suck but it is a business and i really hope that things work out for you in indiana man yeah it is what it is uh we mistreated a, a really good player and I think a lot of Knicks, a lot of Knicks fans and a lot of NBA fans are going to see that. And this is going to be one of those memes that's going to be annoying halfway through the season when he's having highlights and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. But shout out to Obi Toppin. Now that Obi Toppin is no longer a Nick, the issue that we have to worry about is who takes his role? Is there somebody out in free agency that the Knicks are going to go after or do we stay in house? Well, according to Ian Bagley, it's sounding like Tom Thibodeau wants to just run extreme small ball using either rj barrett or josh hart as the backup for it sounds like tom thibodeau is leaning towards a world where rj barrett may come off the bench there's a lot of questions that i have um but right now according to begley and, and, and tom thibodeau uh it's looking like he's leaning towards just going with rj barrett or josh hart filling in that Obi Toppin role and I don't like it I like it in spurts but I don't like it even if Josh Hart's coming off the bench I don't like him in that permanent four spot I get it's a smaller league I just I don't like it I don't like it we made ourselves worse um by just giving up Obi Toppin for nothing barring that he only played about 10 minutes but that's just my opinion what do you guys think do you guys agree with the Obi Toppin trade you think that it was a fair trade and that a lot of us that are upset about the deal are tripping um as far as uh, RJ Barrett coming off the bench is that something that you guys are for I know a lot of RJ Barrett haters are gonna love this um and there's a lot of people that are gonna hear see his contract and figure and and, and hear that he's a bench player and they're gonna get even more upset uh there's a lot of things to take away from this i don't really believe that tom thibodeau ultimately goes with rj barrett off of the bench i do think he continues what he has been doing in the past by running rj barrett early and then benching him early so he can come out with the second unit in the in the second quarter i mean we might see a lot more of that but i don't think tom thibodeau goes all the way back to benching him for a team like us that's really undersized i don't think that that necessarily makes the most sense but it is something that ian bagley spoke about and you know i more times than not things that he's reporting about the in and outs of the team tend to be true so i'm gonna i'm gonna take that for what it is but dante divincenzo uh we signed i i mentioned him briefly we we got the guy that a lot of you guys were excited about uh dante divincenzo is now officially a nick uh, i remember that there were rumors that the knicks wanted to try and get him in the draft and we weren't able to do that uh now with the whole villanova connection dante divincenzo becomes a new york nick and can be a a, a positive piece for us off the bench somebody that uh shot 40 percent from the three-point line at one point in his career a very stable and very workhorse type player he's definitely a good signing i think my one beef with the signing and the focus on just getting dante divincenzo is it doesn't really help us out with the length at the wing um I, he's like i said he's a smaller guard does a lot that we need for sure but i i still feel like we are lacking on a lot of uh, uh on a lot of length especially defensively that i think is something that's gonna bite us in the butt long term but you know you're gonna get the hustle from dante divincenzo and on top of all that the contract that he got signed on is beautiful well i don't know how they got this to work even though we see trades that make no sense what this front office has been doing masterful work with has been these contract deals outside of evan fournier we have a bunch of great contracts that make sense. You, you, if you compare Julius Randle's contract to the likes of what a Jeremy Grant just signed, and for what Julius Randle has done, whether you hate him or love him, definitely a, a big win there. Jalen Brunson compared to Fred Van Vliet, definitely a big win there. You know, And now you're looking at a guy like Dante DiVincenzo, who is a champion and was a very vital piece of that championship team. Um, you know, I, I definitely think that we got a good value guy for way less than he should have gotten paid so I, I think that was a good steal but again according to Bagley it's it sound it's it seeming like that that's about all the Knicks really want to do in free agency we might 
already see what our final roster looks like right now and i'm not sold i'm I, i'm probably one of the few that's fine with running it back i i think that we did have a good run last year i think that with what with what we know now knowing that jalen brunson is our guy running it through him and then going from there me personally i would love to see it be jalen brunson rj barrett before julius Randle, but we know that's not realistically what's going to happen i think that we have the possibilities of still being able to run it back and have a good season um with what we have but at the same time Time, you want to improve on a lot of areas that we were hurting on very badly biggest ones were shooting and like i mentioned length and height uh we 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 really slacked on length when it comes to playing that stretch position whether it's the three through five so it, you know it's a little frustrating that we didn't really bring on anybody to fill in that role but there's still time for anything to happen more trades to happen uh i still think evan fournier it, it could get you know moved in the, for the sake of him and for the sake of our books but you know the new york knicks uh seem to be about done with roster moves and all it was was a trade for obi toppin losing derrick rose and picking up dante divincenzo there's your new New York Knicks, you know what I mean? But what do you guys think about that? What do you guys think about the possibility of this being our roster? Just bringing on Dante DiVincenzo and being done. What are your thoughts about who should be backing up Julius Randle now and being that back up four position? It is small ball. Are you guys okay with the likes of Josh Hart or RJ Barrett coming off the bench and playing that role? What says you? Let me know your thoughts about everything in the comments below. Also, if there's any other names left in free agency that you would love to see the Knicks pick up, I would love to hear that in the comment section as well. Um, again, realistically, is it going to happen? Not entirely sure, but I would still love to hear the input of the guys that you guys would really love to see on this team. Appreciate you guys as always for your continued support. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, channel, hit the notification bell. Do not forget to like this video. Follow your boy over on Twitch as well as the other YouTube channels if you want more content from your guy uh it's been ck i'll see you guys in the next video appreciate you guys as always Cold pizza. Tuesday. Tuesday. i got food up in the fridge y'all keep looking for that new way i think i like it how it is